I have found out a couple of scenes in Deadpool and Wolverine that probably have been inspired from some other blockbuster movies of Hollywood including the previous installments of this franchise. Deadpool was shown to be using staple pins to attach a wig to his head and you can see the same thing happening in the end of chapter 1 where he staples the picture of Hugh Jackman to his face. Also those two adamantium katanas kinda remind me of Shingen Yashida from the 2013 Wolverine movie who also had an adamantium suit mounted with two adamantium katanas. Katanas. Deadpool warns a TV agent by saying, Get my country's name out of your fucking mouth. Get my country's name out of your fucking mouth. Now, does it remind you of something? Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Logan sprinting on the ground has been taken from the 2009 X Men Origins movie. And then, this fighting sequence came from the 2002 Spider Man movie. <laughs> Inside the car, Deadpool was told to shut up and then he does this. You see the word savage on the t-shirt of Laura? Well, it kinda makes sense to me considering how she used to behave in the 2017 Logan movie. And I am not taking this. Don't fucking hit me! The sunglass of Laura is also similar to the sunglass from the 2017 Logan movie that she stole from a corner shop on their way to North Dakota. The entry of Calverine was highly unexpected for me and when he was about to smack Deadpool, he cocked his hand the exact way he did in the Mission Impossible Fallout movie. <laughs> Cassandra Nova breaks the neck of Pyro almost the exact way Scarlet Witch broke the neck of Charles Xavier in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. After the short circuit, the Time Ripper was about to get destroyed and this is when you can see their head shaking the exact way Doctor Strange was shaking in the Avengers Infinity War. This dude gets smacked by Incredible Hulk the exact way he smacked Thor in the 2012 Avengers movie. During the fight, Blade gets stabbed into his chest and I have a feeling that this footage was a reference to the 2017 Logan movie when he also got stabbed into the chest by X-23. It's good to see that they have kept a picture of Stanley on the bus as a form of tribute to this old man. If Stanley was alive, he would be the happiest person on earth to watch this movie. Logan killed Lady Deathstrike in the 2003 X-Men movie and now you can also see him finishing off Lady Deathstrike inside the void. Gambit has a very thick accent and Deadpool was not understanding anything, so he says that Gambit probably probably has learned English from the minions of the Despicable Me franchise. This to be gentle. Who is your dialect coach? The minions? And I guess you're familiar with them, right? <laughs> Deadpool makes a joke holding the head of Sabretooth which was taken from the 2015 Mad Max movie. Behold the head of your precious queen, Furiosa! <laughs> Once again, I salute my Imperator, Furiosa! This guy in the back looks a lot like Logan from the 2013 Wolverine movie when he used to look like a caveman after living in the woods for many years. Deadpool tells Cassandra, fingers are inside me but not in a good way. Fingers are inside me but not a good way. And guess what? He said something similar to Fire Fist in chapter 2 of the movie. How do you know what I want? Because I've been inside you. That came out wrong. Cassandra Nova tells Logan that she was pruned into the void even before she could walk just because she was born at the wrong time in the wrong place which is kinda similar to the situation of Sylvie from the Loki series who also got pruned into the void for the same reason. This robotic leg that was used by Logan to run away from that place looks very similar to the leg of Iron Monger from the 2008 Iron Man movie. And then they fall onto a dune far away from that place which is also similar to the 2008 Iron Man movie when Tony Stark flew away from the terrorist bunker in Afghanistan and fell onto a dune far away from that place. They get to find out a Honda Odyssey in the middle of a cornfield and it kind of reminds me of a similar kind of cornfield in the 2017 Logan movie where he went to investigate a water supply outage with a friend of his. Paradox had an ambition to control the multiverse timeline which is kind of similar to Renslayer from the Loki series who also had the same desire but ended up getting stuck in the void forever. You couldn't even save a relationship with a goddamn stripper. 